Okay, I'm gonna be cleaning my Sony A77. Um, I'm gonna start with dusting the workspace. This is just to get any hairs or dust out of the general area. It's a little dirty as you can see. You know, the last thing you want to do is when you're finished cleaning is kick up more dust. Get it inside your camera after you've already cleaned it. So that's done. Next, I'm just going to clean any extra dirt off the table. Just using Method Brand All Purpose Cleaner and some paper towels. Smells good. Clean your space. That way you know it's clean. So when you're cleaning your camera, you have confidence that you've got most of the dirt out of there. Not all of it. Good. I just it once more to dry it. Okay. Surface is clean. We are ready to see what we're working with. So right here I've got you know a standard blower. Uh, you guys can pick these up at Adorama. Uh, B and H, they come in little kits. You, know, you just squeeze them to blow air. You can use that for the inside of the sensor. Also, you can use it on the outside of the camera. Uh, this has a little condensation on it, so I'm just cleaning it off. Uh, next, we've got a standard brush. Probably use this for your lens. I wouldn't use it on the inside of your camera. Um, it's mostly just to get extra dirt out of your camera or out of little crevices. Um, some of the tools I have, very, very small screwdriver that I will use to remove my mirror if I have to. Um, since I'm using a Sony, the uh, translucent mirror does come out and is replaceable if you have any damage to it, but you can also clean it. Uh, it's a little easier to clean once it's out of the camera and pretty easy to take in and out. Also, I have a set of tweezers for that if I need to uh, use the tweezers to get the mirror out. There's a little plastic rim around the outside of it that's pretty easy to grab. And since it is translucent mirror, it's actually more of like a plastic film than it is a physical mirror. Um, one more brush. This is kind of like a, uh, looks like a pen almost, like a felt tip pen on one end. You flip it over, got another brush on the other side. Um, pretty similar to the other brush that I have, but. We're gonna start, I'm gonna just take the lens off and put the body cap on the body. Put the lens cap on here. Body over here for now. Let's start with the lens. This is just a lens cleaning solution that I got online. Pretty simple. I like the spray bottle. The other bottles that it comes in kind of look like this and they're really hard to get where you want them to get. And so I just use this to fill this up and spray a mist onto the lens. Now I'm gonna open a fresh microfiber uh, towel. 
So use that to clean the front and rear element of the lens. Um, there we go. So what I'm going to do is spray some mist directly onto the front. Clean it gently with the microfiber cloth. There's still a little bit of residue on there. That's fine. It dries pretty quickly. But you just want to get that element nice and clean. And I shine on it. Okay, I just switched sides because I wanted to get closer to the window so you could really see the front element. Looks really nice. There's still a little bit of moisture on the outside, but that's okay. Let's get back on. With this lens, you can see it's internal. When it focuses, the element moves inside slightly on the outside, but obviously it's very much on the inside. So what we're going to do is kind of dust away some of that dust with my brush. There's always a pinch of dust everywhere, and then with the blower. cap on the front so I can set it down and I'm just gonna spray a little right onto the microfiber cloth because I don't really want to spray it inside the lens and I'm just gonna clean this tip right here tip of my finger microfiber cloth and I washed my hands before this also so I recommend doing that as well Looks pretty good. I do just a smidge more and clean this outside rim. The lens actually connects to the camera. Great. Lens cap. We're good. Now before, I had all my tools sitting on this big microfiber towel. Um, but I'm going to use it now just to wipe down the outside of my camera. Just to get as much dirt, little molecules floating around the outside of it as I possibly can. Make sure you get in between dials, connection points. really just want to get in there and get as much as you can. If anything comes off, say your eyepiece, like mine does, you probably want to get, take that off, get in there. Here's a situation where I can use my viewfinder. Looks a little bit grody. You can see there's some film actually on the back of the LCD screen which is a crappy defect on these Sony cameras uh, that I've hated for years. I'm just going to put a little more of this lens cleaning liquid onto a Q-tip and then just get in the corners of my viewfinder a little bit of the wet end and then take the dry end of the q-tip and just kind of get at the corners 
going to do a pretty good job. So you can see. The fighter is already looking much better. Still got some uh, pretty tough on this guy. And there's a little sensor here for your eye. Let me clean that up. Throw that Q-tip away. <clears throat> Keep going. Buttons, joysticks, you know, knob styles. You just want to get as much of that crap off there as you can. Put down your LCD screen. Just a lot of, a lot of dust all over the body of the camera. battery grip now. It gets kind of grimy down here at the bottom. You can see at the bottom of the battery grip where it's pretty nasty in there. So we use a little more of this rubbing alcohol. And grab one more Q-tip. Just get in there. You know, try to get all the grit and nasty crap out of there. Probably dead skin or who knows. I mean, look how nasty that Q tip is. Ooh. That one's pretty gross too. Here's your SD pack or your SD card slot. I'll just pull a little here in there. Make sure there's nothing floating around in there. <sighs> HDMI ports, video ports, everything. I don't know. I don't really get in there with all that. Battery pack. I just pull it out a couple times. Then I'm gonna hit this hot shoe connector. Well, actually, it senses a Sony and their dicks. It's actually not a hot shoe connector, it's their Sony. Their Sony uh, brand connector. I'm gonna hit this LCD up top. You can see that. And then I'm just gonna get a little bit. fluid right in here, clean these connecting areas, blow it, blow it out, hit with a dry q-tip a couple times. You can really see You might see or notice just polish it up. It looks pretty good. So most of the dust should be removed from the outside of your camera at this point. Uh, that looks good. All right, now we're gonna do the inside. Okay, it's a little bit dark in here, so I just added a little, another light here on this other side. But so as you can see. Inside we've got a mirror, a little translucent mirror, and then behind that's the sensor. So I'm going to start with the ring around the outside because it looks a little dirty. And the mirror is down, so I don't have to really worry about anything. I want to work on my from the outside in because I don't want anything to fall back onto the sensor after I've done 
clean the inside of the sensor. So let's start with the rim on the outside. Again, I'm just going to use a microfiber cloth and a little bit of alcohol uh, fluid directly onto the cloth and then wiping down the outside rim of the connecting area where the lens meets the camera. I only did one spray because I don't want this thing really wet. You know, I don't want a lot of moisture here. I just want enough to clean the rim of the camera body and then sort of just evaporate after that. And as you can see, there's some wear and tear on there still, but yeah, it's just nice to have that clean. Okay, next, with the mirror. I'm going to start with a blower, and I'm going to flip the camera upside down, and insert the blower to the front of the camera. As you can see, I'm not going to put it anywhere past this outer rim because I don't want to damage the mirror. So what I'm gonna do, flip it upside down. All right, take a look. Yeah, it looks all right. There's still probably some dust floating around in there. So now I'm going to pause it and I'm going to remove the mirror because I don't want to try to show you how I'm going to remove the mirror as I'm trying to remove the mirror. <laughs> Just uh, worried I might damage it somehow. All right, now you can see I've removed the mirror. Um, I'm holding it by the edges. Um, I do not want to touch the mirror anywhere. Really, shouldn't even be holding it, but I've got a pretty firm grip on the outside of it and I'm not touching it, so I'm just gonna give it a quick cleaning um, and we'll put it back. using a brush on the front and back side of the mirror. And this is laying on a microfiber cloth. I've got an LED here that I might shine on it and just try to see if I can see any filthy spots. Dust. Okay, now I'm going to Open up another microfiber cloth here. Actually, got a big blue one over here that I'm going to use. I'm just going to set the mirror on it off to the side so we can clean the sensor. Using this iLead gel sensor cleaner. Um, this one is designed specifically for uh, Sony cameras. So you see it has the orange tip on the end. Um, 
the other models will have a blue tip. I don't know necessarily what's the difference. Um, I just know that this one is designed specifically for the uh, Sony model lens or Sony model cameras. Now I haven't used this one yet, otherwise I'd be using one of these cleaning strips right here in order to uh, clean the gel. But since I know that it's brand new, uh, I'm not going to clean it. Alright, first things first, we're going to turn the camera on, meter's up, well the meter's gone completely, but we're going to go over to settings, we're going to go more cleaning mode perform auto image cleaning sensor and I'm going to turn it upside down and hit enter great auto cleaning is finished turn the power off so you can clean the image sensor manually image sensor manually if necessary follow the procedure and the instructional manual so now with the mirror locked up and re removed Use the blower, get a couple blows inside there. So, hopefully, loosen or remove some of the dirt. I know this image sensor is really, really dirty. Okay, so now we're going to clean it. The gel stick. Carefully remove this and not touch the gel. So I don't want anything on the gel. Nothing. No oils, no grease. Uh, I don't want anything on the tip of it. Okay, so now. I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna go in and straight down with a decent amount of force so it sticks and then pull up. Make sure you're overlapping. And go edge to edge. Um, I had a few more dust particles I saw just float right down in there. So I blew it out again and I'm gonna do the gel stick one more time. But this time, we're going to use these uh, cleaning strips to clean the gel pad. We've got a little bend in, and you can tell which side is the sticky side. This is just to uh, remove any dust or oils. the end of the gel that you just used. So I'll do it four times and I'm going to throw that away. Okay, one more time. I'm going to do out my LED. Close up the mirror and we're ready to fire some shots. 
see how clean it is. <clears throat> so at this point, at this point I'm getting, still getting some, just a little bit of dirt and you, can, you probably won't be able to see it, but that's texture on the wall from using my flash. But up in the top left hand corner I'm getting a little bit of dirt and one there, you can see that. So there's still some dirt. So I'll probably go through and clean it one extra time. Just go all the way to the edges. And that'll be it. So that was my cleaning video. It's just me cleaning. I'm not trying to tell you how to do anything. I'm not saying you should do the way I'm doing. I'm just saying this is how I clean my camera. And thanks for watching.